Simple Gamma AI App Tutorial for Beginners. Create presentations with Gamma AI. Hey guys, welcome back. Now we all are hearing about the powers of AI, but how can we utilize those in our day-to-day -day tasks? Well, Gamma AI is an application that can help you in building presentations and much more with their particular AI. So let's get started with their sign up process. To get started, just head on over to gamma.app and click on sign up for free. Once you click on sign up for free, you can sign up with your email address or proceed with Google. And that is all you have to do to get started with Gamma AI. So I am just registering my account over here and signing up. Now, once you have completed that, you will see this will be your dashboard. Now, in your dashboard, you're going to have some tips and tricks by Gamma, as well as a quick start checklist. So these are just some simple guides to help you in getting started from scratch. Now, what you're going to do to get started with AI-based presentations is you can click on create new with AI. Now, this is their integrated feature, which can help you in, you know, making everything so easy you can even go into generate now once you go into generate you have a few options you have documents web pages or presentations now we're going to be focusing on presentations and you might wonder if i want to paste in my text you can also do that so if you have your presentation word document and you want to convert that into a presentation you can do that as well you can also import a pre-existing document or presentation and enhance that as well now I'm going to go into the most popular feature and the one that you might be wondering about, which is the generation feature. So how can I generate a presentation? Well, first off, you decide the number of cards that you want. So I want this to be a simple presentation with four cards or five cards. Let's make it five. And I want the topic of this particular presentation to be how to improve your content writing like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to provide it with a really basic prompt. Now, when I provide it with a really basic prompt, it's going to give me five key points. Now, these are the five cards it is adding, understanding your audience, developing a clear structure, using persuasive language and storytelling techniques, editing and proofreading tips. Now, what I can do is I can actually provide it with more detail if I want to orient my presentation in a certain direction. So let's say I want to include storytelling, halo effect or character, halo effect, witty language or internet humor, internet humor as well. So now I can add this outline and you will see over here the power of storytelling and content writing, utilizing the character halo effect in your writing, incorporating internet humor, tips and techniques to improve your content writing. So let's say I want this to be a bit different i can you know categorize it as so but i want it to be like this so once i have done that you're going to scroll down and once you scroll down you will actually see different settings you can also incorporate more cards so let's say i want to add my sixth step which is going to be let's say which is going to be make your book sound more or let's say it's going to be now the sixth step, I'll click on add card and I'll move it up. So I'll move it over here and this is going to be vocabulary, dynamics of writing, linguistics, like this. Now after that, I have the amount of text I want per card. So if I want it to be really brief, so the card would only have the heading or if I want it to be medium or detailed. Now, depending on the type of presentation you want, if you already have an idea of what you want to present, you can make it super brief. This can make sure that you are able to dictate the point towards the direction you are going for. So the cards can really be illustrative of what you want to talk about. If you're someone that hasn't prepared your presentation and you just want something that is written in front of you and you can easily, you know, take off these slides and just rephrase it and elaborate upon it, then you can go with the detail version but if you are somewhere in the middle where you have you have prepared but you still want some more direction you're going to go into medium then you have the web source for images now you can change this to ai images as well so you can generate your own original images within your presentation using ai and after that you can describe the image style you want i want it to be pink 
moody, chill, calm, like this retro. And now once I've done that, I can click on continue over here and get started. Now, from here, you will see that you have a few different tools for the generation, which includes the type of basic style you want. So I like this particular style. It's super nice and interesting, or maybe this one as well. I like a lot of these styles, but I think I'm going to go with the this one over here because it really caught my eye. And now I'm going to click on generate. Now, once I click on generate, the Gamma AI application will begin the generation process. Now, one thing to note is that you can't close this tab. You can switch it. You can go to another tab and browse around the internet, but don't ever close it because that is going to stop the generation process. So just like that, our six cards have been generated. This is our first card, Introduction to Content Writing. It has, you know, created a beautiful image, vocabulary and writing dynamics. Then we have the power of storytelling. Then we have utilizing the character halo effect, redefine the character traits, emotional resonance, character transformation, incorporating internet humor in three different steps, tips and tricks. Now, this is such a amazing and versatile presentation. I can really customize this to my personal liking. I can provide more details as I want. I can add my own blank card and then I can provide the type of style or the type of, you know, information that I want. I can choose different types of sections and you can, even without the help of the AI, you can actually build some amazing cards or amazing slides directly on the Gamma AI app. Now, Let's say I'm satisfied with this, but I want to change the theme. So I can actually click on the theme on the top right and I can change the theme and this will actually change the theme for me. And you guys will see now it is following this particular theme. If I want this lined one, I can take this one. Let's say I want the dark one. If I want this purple one instead of the pink one that I had, so I can really customize this with my personal preferences. Now on the right, you have the options to edit the presentation with AI as well. So let's say I want to, in a particular card, I will not use this card because this is a spare card. Now let's say for this particular slide, I want to replace or regenerate the image, regenerate the images and make them more literal like this. Now, after that, it is going to tell me the information. Okay, I'm regenerating it. This is the suggested one. This is the original. And it has actually changed the text. Now, I would have to click on edit image to be able to edit with the particular prompt that I have. Now, once you are satisfied, you can go with card templates, add more. You have your layout templates as well. Then you also have basic blocks. You can insert images, videos, web pages you might want to embed, or any forms and buttons you want to insert. However, if you're satisfied, you can go on ahead and click on the top right and click on present, or you can also go on ahead and click on share to share your particular Gamma AI based presentation. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you're looking to get started with Gamma AI, keep in mind that you get 400 free AI credits at sign up. You have unlimited users in Gamma so you can create with those 400 credits. Plus, you get these per month, so they will accumulate over time as well. Plus, you have PDF exports, PPT exports, as well as seven-day change history and basic analytics. Then, if you go on ahead and subscribe to their Plus plan, starting at $10 per user per month, you can remove all of the Made with Gamma badges or watermarks. And then, at the Pro plan, you have everything that the Plus plan has, including custom fonts, priority support, unlimited change histories, as well as detailed analytics. So make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and I will catch you guys in the next video.